Ooh, what's up guys? This is the Rotherman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Gran Colombia. And in this episode, our continuing operations against the Austrians uh, continue, hopefully with the capture of war, the war galleon Adrian and the fifth rate Oka. So let's Oka, Oka. So let's get cracking. Uh, yeah, so I do want to try and keep the pressure up against Austria by uh, slowly but surely uh, as they send ships out into the Atlantic, uh, let me capture them, bring them into the fleet. And we can either rep repurpose them um, in our battle fleet, or we can send them to uh, the trade zones. That's the master plan. Take a bit of time to get out here towards the Austrians. Yeah, fifth rate to the rear, 48 guns. The war galleon is a bit damaged. We've lost one crewman. I mean, the galleons do look pretty good. And that's one thing the Empire does really well, is that the models of the ships look pretty spiffy, I think. Yeah, we definitely want to take the war galleon. And, I mean, I mean, we definitely want them both, really. But right now, we are hammering it towards them uh, as fast as we can. Four threes in the lead, 58 guns. Uh, side they are they may end up executing a turn as we get closer but for now we're not overly worried about that Santo Tomas de Aquino San Leandro Buen Consejo Neptuno and Halcon Halcon Falcon I know that much I know that much so where is their admiral? He's not up there. Here's the admiral. And that's the ship's captain. So he's aboard. Okay, let's hope that he tries to climb aboard one of the masts. Because again, I want to try and disable these ships. And then send them straight back to, uh, to the Americas. For repair and they will probably be sent towards the trade fleets okay let's move all the last minute let's cross the T yeah so my ship in the lead is gonna fly a chain Two fifth rates at the rear continue their forward passage. Now come on, you fellows. And now you're going to try and play a round shot into the war galleon. Put a broadside of, or we'll put a load of chain into Oka's masts. Make the broadside ready. Fire again. Found some shots into the head of the fifth rate. Sail ahead. You want to keep pounding them with chain. You're going to try and do that as well. Pivoting. Side chain, otherwise, you will do too much damage. Put to your comrades, pivot around this fellow. I mean, I think we are, we are just taking too much damage by trying to 
knock out the sails as we can. Very much like to knock some sails out because that would help things tremendously. Snap the top off of ochre. There you go. Stay, stay on our stem. You're gonna fire now because that hits ochre first. Killed the arrow. Oh, he was on the top of Adrian. Right, you men try board. You men try board Adrian. Surrendered to all of you. Try, try get ochre. Well, actually, you're just going to close distance and try and fire. Oh, there we go. They're going to close distance and try and fire a blast of chain to actually sail away. But no need. Bring them both into our fleet. Excellent. Make your way back up to Hoffen for repairs. We still have a reasonable fleet ready to make some. Actually, okay, actually, that's probably... We're going to send some. are going to go for repairs. You go in to... You go in to... Um, to raid. Maintain the pressure on the Austrian economy. Other than that, knocked out Huron, probably going to go after Black Hills peoples at some point, but not really now. I mean, I think it is just gearing up for the war against Britain. I think that is our only real strategy now. We can capture a number of their key territories. Uh, I, I mean, once we do that... Or we can definitely immediately pull all of our fleets out of... We'll stop raiding off the coast of Portugal. Because we are going to want to keep... We're not going to want our fleets to be easily uh, attacked by Britain. And that, that will happen regardless. Um, because all of our naval forces around the world will become instantly at risk. So we may have to spend a lot of money... Just ramping up our production across the board to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, Prussia's continuing to, was continuing to engage Austria, but it looks like Prussia may actually be in trouble. If Austria gains land in northern Europe, well not northern, on the northern coast of Europe, that may add some interesting wrinkles, because then we could... Actually, now might be the now might be the time to go for Britain because Sweden is raiding the bejesus out of them. Sweden just won't quit. Okay, let's get some. Make sure we've got some sloops in here. Okay, right. You guys get back into Hoffen. Let's at least send the galleon over to the Americas to join a trade fleet. Let's at least try and keep this to battle fleets. Senor. You're still recruiting pikemen. Yeah, you're going to recruit your sloop. In Montreal, upgrade the governor's palace. A lot of good farm upgrades, but there is going to be a limit to how many of those we do. At least every turn. Although, actually, we've not. We've not got a lot of stuff to upgrade. Oh well, yeah, so they took Württemberg, and that Württemberg has resulted in the map looking a lot more broken up here than it actually is. We've taken Warsaw, though. That's interesting. Okay, so a battle fleet's here to replace this fleet. 
And then you guys are on to this trade post. That is the Ottomans. So if I, at least if I base you here, you'll protect two of these, two of these fleets, and that's something. Yes, yes, yes. Caribbean Sea. ¿Cuál es la orden? No podemos ir ahí, Capitán. Okay, good. En marcha. So these are going to be two more. These aren't going to be trade fleets. These are going to be ambush fleets. Something like that. Back in Yorktown. Got a... Ambush flagship first rate, heavy first rate, build another heavy. Our armies are repairing. I mean we we will need our our navy. Our navy will need to be boosted. Um hmm. I mean, there's no one we can invade here to knock out. I mean we can take Lincoln if we declared war on Britain but for now you're just going to hold her there Austria's trading out of the Straits of Madagascar there may be a free one the Ivory Coast there's Austria again so we need to start let me just pump up our numbers 1680 cash is what we have Let's request some more infantry units to them to the Mexico border. Everywhere else is raiding and expanding where possible. So you're ready. Ready for future orders. Decent little navy here. Which I may send you guys out to... East Africa to go have a look for that Russian, that that uh, that uh, poo, Austrian fleet. That's the one. But we need lots of ships to blockade these ports when war with Britain happens. Uh, check my ministers to make sure I've got no duff ones. I mean, four stars is fine. Plus one management, minus one treasury, plus one army. So you're plus five army, but this goes plus six. Gen in, gen in general, if they're not three stars, it's fine. As long as they're if they're four stars and above, they are providing positive benefits to my empire, and I don't I'm not overly bothered about making sure I optimize it that much. Maybe at the start, if I've got lots of really bad ministers, and I can do lots of chopping and changing and mixing up. But if I can't do that, then I'm not that interested in. Ooh, there's a full Austrian navy. Interesting to see what they end up doing with that. They, if they go for, you know, Gdansk or somewhere on the coast, we will sail into the Baltic and take it, and that will be our outpost in the region. I think yeah, attacking Britain does make the most sense, but I'm, I am just intrigued to see what happens in Europe. I mean, we can we can still invade Europe. We'll just need to send a, a full fleet to transport our army because we, we're at war with. Unless Savoy's not a bad idea. We could probably take Sardinia and then Corsica. Those would be Mediterranean positions. And it would put us in a position to start raiding against the, uh, the Austrian swines. Potentially taking Rome. Austria's got Rome. That would be useful. Hmm, lots of Russian ships. I suppose we need to make I need to make the decision on if I'm gonna invade some 
some of the islands in the middle of Med in the middle of Mediterranean. I am going to want to do that before I declare war on Britain. Otherwise, they will not give us access to the Med. But right now, we're allied with Britain, so let's just treat that as a rather than betraying them. New port emerges. Providence. Do we need more naval dockyards? We've got one at Yorktown. One down here in San Juan, and we've got another up here. I don't think so. Let's upgrade oh, wait to hold upgrade Louisburg. Okay, you men. Ordenes recibidas. Alguna orden? Sí, señor. So you're gonna be a trade fleet. Make these into more sí, addition señor. make these Admiral's flagships as well, but then exclusively. I mean it's interesting. You'd think the game would be a bit cleverer to say actually these are really bad places to recruit galleons from. You should recruit them from somewhere else. So let's go over here, and then you can pick out the pick on the outputs of both these fleets to build your galleons. Six turns. Oh, yeah, over in six. Actually, let's get a just to make it a nice round number. Both ports are going to be churning out three galleons apiece. And then down here, probably something similar. Two, four, six, eight. Interesting. Anyway, you men get into San Juan. Repair your ships. Achilles, get in. Tridente. Okay. Oh god, I spent all my money. I'm gonna make sure I do another road and do another um, infrastructure run. Twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, lots of territories are starting to get starting to be troublesome. I mean, I think we do it because there's Savoy. Savoy's been invaded by Austria. We could take Cagliari. And destroy Savoy once and for all. In which case, you men come back. Apologies, admirals. I'm going to leave an infantry unit behind. So I can bring along a glorious pikeman. Nope, that's gone the wrong way. Combine you guys. So the idea is that yeah, I need I need a full a full stack like this. So it'll take a couple of legs to get down here, and I don't want to get sunk by these guys, for example. Although they are a bit knackered, so if they do try and get after us, we can do something about it. But yeah, we could take out Cagliari and then potentially move on towards Turin. Or like or go for Rome. Rome would probably be a good idea. Hey Naples and Sicily, how you doing? Ally with Austria, don't like that. Hmm. You may also have to go. So, but well, you only ally with Austria, so we could land and take Naples, then Rome, and then use Rome to generate lots more armies to secure the uh, Italian Peninsula, that's pretty good. Okay, another galleon to join the trade fleet. Got lots of armies at home, kind of waiting for jobs. Okay, so as a, as a little trade fleet, you are probably ripe to go to East Africa. Once our little fleet, once our other our other fleet secures the position, we can then we can then occupy it. Uh, sadly, we don't 
can't, don't have the funds to keep the drumbeat going of shipbuilding here in Yorktown. So that's where we need to keep investing in our economic technologies. It's going to be a gamble sailing for Sardinia. We may get intercepted, but I'm hoping that our strength is enough. See if we can land and take Sardinia. I mean, that opens up a lot of interesting opportunities that don't directly involve getting into a massive fight with Britain. Especially sometimes with these games, it's with these campaigns, it can be very easy to just attack the world, fight everyone, and you, know, you don't care who you're up against, you're going to take everyone out. Baluchistan's. Yeah, I don't want Baluchistan. Especially to give up Cuba for it. It does suggest they may be interested in getting up some skullduggery with me in future. So I may be able to invade Lisbon after all. And boy, was I. Yes. So sometimes you can just do the whole hang the world, I'm going to do what I can invade everyone. But it can also be enjoyable to semi role play it. Like, Britain's an ally. A powerful ally. Britain's naval power is in my interests. And, and it supports our objectives. So do I want to upend that balance just yet? Britain's alliance means that I have access to the Mediterranean without the cost of needing to do it myself. 37,000. Hey, some people got unblocked. So that's carcass shot unlocked. So we need to go to... I mean, we almost procurement. Kumana, get on with... Copper bottoms increases cost, but it also increases range and speed. A day in, carry on with free trade. New Haven's going to get power loom and probably go on to machine tools, which is fine. Yeah, there's a Naples and Sicily battle fleet. Holy Jesus. If we go after them, we need to take them out immediately. Some of their ships are knackered. Two of their ships are good. Lots of their ships. You know what? Yeah, lots of their ships are really knackered. They got some good ones, but we're gonna make sure. We're gonna make sure that their knackered ones go to the bottom. And then we might try and catch some of their stronger ones. But yeah, let's try and sink some of their damaged ships. We don't want them li living too long. Something like this. So yes, these are the, some of their like 16 guns. 16, 17, 20 guns. Some of their stronger ships are up front. If we could not hobble them with chain shot, that would be great. These guys just need to be pounded into submission. Their crew, their crews are quite low as well, so we could potentially board them. Uh, but yeah, I think the Admiral's flagship, being a third rate, is pretty darn good. So they're going to be slowly manoeuvring to try and... Yeah, it looks like they might be. Yeah, the fifth rates are getting bogged down by the, by the third rate. They could go faster, but they can't go faster. That's why it keeps spamming, because, you know, for a split second they're able to do it. There we go. Pivot our formation, and then we will also be able to engage their ships at long range, I grant, but we will get the first volleys off. And it looks like lots of their damage fleet are reluctant, are reluctant to uh, get involved. Am 
my ships just appear a little bit slower. Cut their formation in half. More shots into Lux. Admiral's flagship is looking a bit sad. Some good damage. You want to switch to chain because you're probably going to try and engage Albatross. I'm hoping you scoot ahead. We'll blast you in the sails with our starboard battery. Nearly. Keep giving them orders to push, so as soon as they can go, they will. They will go. Then get in the centre, get in between them, and blast them both with chain. The new man effectively drop anchor well you're probably going to have to fire a round shot get ready to pound broadsides in sail ahead I want to decapitate albatross if I can fourth rate just shoot at range smash him come on Palayo Fill the wind from your sails. Send some of our ships aft. Well, not aft, but... Come on, get ready. Albatross says, can you hear me? Fire the broadhead early just to see if we could get that albatross to surrender. Ooh. Okay, you men pivot to engage San Geronimo. Well, actually, you, you just fire a regular round shot, both of you. You try cut them off. She now just round shot, just attack them. Third rate pivot to provide some fire support. You know, round shot, broadside, you, sh you sail ahead. Fire broadside. to hit there you go shot the top mast off of Lux pivot around you may have to fly a chain because of what's coming on your right hand side
pop off the broadside just to stop it from getting more shots into the lurks. Pivot, switch to broadside to round shot. Get the ships back involved. Yeah, you guys just pound a round shot. Starboard battery will be ready to pop a broadside into our back. Fire as she bears. Starboard battery. Fire for the main mist. Bad, bad luck. You fired too soon. Go to the left. You. Push your head. Just drop anchor, drop broadsides into fifth rate masts. Oh, fire. You've still got a good hit. You haven't got to keep burning. Regulus. These ships both sail at full sail. Our uh, Regulus is okay. It looks like it's a bit of a race. You want to keep pumping shots into Regulus to stop Regulus from A being able to escape. They're not disengaging, are they? No, they're just. They're not disengaging, they're just. You pivot to get in front of our back. You're going to be upset soon. Cut ahead of Regulus. round shot into him if you can. Keep turning. There we go, this ship's finally catching up with Ice Mop that ship there. And you've already pumped all your shots. Get ahead of the column and hold them down. What's the foremost? There we go. Now they'll never they'll never be able to outrun us. Get ahead of regulars just so they don't escape. Men board ice mold. This fellow board, our Regulus has been boarded. Our Regulus has surrendered. Nice. Very nice. That's a lot of ships. Deployed six, lost to zero, captured six. Bring them all in, baby. Hold the spot until reinforcements arrive. Okay, something I've definitely got to do is find the regions. Because they did upgrade infrastructure, I just missed it. Come on. There we 
go the Windward Islands. I can say there are definitely two places that got that got cobbled roads. But apparently I am mm, not able to find it. Well by the looks of it I've done it. Uh right, right, right. Thirty-three thousand Yorktown. Two first, four seconds. That's a good amount of investing in a navy. Europe. Okay, you men embark. Because, yeah, you can't get there in one go. It's going to be, a, it's a real risk, but. Because if we attack it, we will siege it and force them to come after us. And then next turn, you will do something like that. Military tech, carcass shot. Yeah, we did that. Camp follower. Rapid Aguerto. That was our army guy. Awesome. He's already brilliant. Oh, you're not so good as the treasury guy anymore. What if I swap you around? You're great as the Europe Minister. Boom. New treasury guy. Plus one management, plus one navy. Yeah, too bad our navy guy is superb. 14,000. Lots of recruitment's already going anyway. Let's send this way over to Europe. Okay. Very here on territory. Yeah, I think I'm inclined to just kind of observe what's going on in what's going to go on in Europe, and then sort of adapt our strategy from then on. Sí, si, señor. It's probably enough. Si, señor. Oh no, you're going to be a no, not a tree fleet. You're a hunting people. You're an, you're an ambush fleet. So let's get you over to Leopoldo Calabar. Awesome. Yep, you men get out to East Africa. Over to where that trade zone has just been liberated. 39,000. Good balance of trade. We currently have... We're not producing any ivory for trade. Even though we are on the region. Although maybe it'll take ne your next turn and it'll have to kick in. Cool, one more turn to a bunch of techs are done. Yeah, okay, this is the big one. Don't come kill us. Don't come kill us. Don't come kill us. Leave us alone. Do you know we'll leave us alone as well? Nag! Uh, run away. <laughs> no, I'm not. I do not. I'm not going to risk. A, ooh, Mexico's... Okay, right. That's enough to put me off the idea of pushing into the med until my big heavy hitter fleet is here. Then we can sail in and engage a couple of enemy fleets, get some decisive victories, and then we can start to do clever things. Although, it does just make me even more tempted to invade Britain. Just kick off the Great War that we know that has to happen. Or, oh, the Great War that's the next logical step. Because if we take Britain, we can, that gives us a foothold in India, because we can take Bengal and Kutak. Ugh. Oh. Uh, nope. Eventually, they'll come and invade us. Eventually. Yeah, I think that's just convinced me that fighting fighting Britain has to happen. We have to... Well, yeah, it has to happen. It's a bit unfortunate because it's not just a case of knocking out Britain anymore. We have to take Copenhagen and take all of North Africa. I mean, there's a big, tasty fleet right there off the Portuguese coast. That will have to be taken care of. 
but at least you've got plenty of fleets in the Americas to block up their colonies until our armies can get in there and squash them. Okay, I think that's the way to do it. So, don't worry about you. So first of all, what are you? Lots of good ships. Lots of Rizzes. 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 First, third, Rizzes. Yeah, our battle fleet will do you in. Let's get you over to back to the dry dock. Wait till, well, yeah, we want to wait till our big fleet's here. You have recruit all the pikemen you can get, so now we can continue upgrading. Power loom has gone to steam pump land drainage. Free trade onto citizenship. That's not terrible. Steam pump land drainage is kind of not super useful. We're not so bothered about population growth at the moment. Get on with machine tools. <clears throat> that that's the thing you want. That's a machine tools is a just a flat discount on bu buying anything. Increased town wealth, and we've got a couple of buildings we can upgrade. But there aren't many lumber mills and ceramics factories on the map. Awesome. Ah, oh, because you got free trade doctrine. This is huge because ports super expensive. Um, okay. Ooh, you're really unhappy. Minus one. Have some dragoons. Have a theater. But yeah, definitely have lots of dragoons. <coughs> Okay, so let's take Cartagena as our capital. I think I might try and upgrade one global trade company every turn. It's going to take a long time because you've got a lot of ports. But we can't spend all our money on port upgrades. Got a couple more ships. Just a second, everyone. Radio. So, Providence... Get a sloop, upgrade port. That's a cheap port upgrade, it doesn't count. Si, senor. Yeah, lots of recruitments ongoing. 20, okay, so I think, so you're, you're an invasion, well, ultimately we don't need many armies to go conquer all the territories. You'll take Nassau and Port Royal, you will, you're a garrison really. You, this army here will deploy against Cayenne. Let's let them upgrade the port for sure. Maybe you could go after Antigua, maybe? But the name of the game is Navy. Navy stuff. Build some more second rates. Can't recruit more cool units yet until we get some more building upgrades. Because there is nothing we can do. Okay. The war with Britain is... It's, I was about to say it's risky, but it's not really risky. We are just so dominant in the Americas. We are safe. They we, they will not pose an existential threat. Ooh, where are you going to go? Are you going to land on an island somewhere? Maybe. Are you going to... Okay, you're going to be exposed. Interesting. Are you going to bolster those... That fleet? Ooh... Austria's made it to Brussels. Ten grand in peace? Or nine grand in peace? No, they're a protect... Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? It gets them off our backs. It's one less uh, faction that can potentially jump us. Is Prussia still squaring up to Austria?
and full army and made it to the to the coast. Yeah, I think I think we just have to go for Britain. We just have to. It will cause us lots of damage elsewhere. But it's our only real option, I think. We can at least expand our control of the on the in the Americas. It's the next logical step, fundamentally. I mean, it's interesting seeing a Persian fleet in the Med because they have no friendly ports. So if they get any damage at all, they're incredibly vulnerable. Yeah, it's stuff like this. Sweden keeps hassling the Brits for us. 62,000. So you could ambush that fleet quite nicely. They would be good to ambush because that's a second and first rate. You can get back to America. More recruitment. Peace treaty with Genoa. New Granada. Yeah, you were on strike, but now you've got more lovely people repressing you. Let's upgrade Rio de la Hacha. Okay, right. First of all, let's make it happen. I think the rest of the world will really not like me. We're really not. So we're already at war with Austria. We're not at war with the Marathas yet, but they want to be. Mexico will have to make a decision. Prussia's already in trouble, because they're at war with Austria anyway. It's going to be very risky. This could blow the whole campaign wide open. Cancel alliance. Cancel trade agreement. Hostile. Declare war. Call Prussia and Mexico to our side. Force them to choose. Colombia is no longer, Prussia is no longer our ally. Great Britain's not been joined by Russia or Mexico. Interesting. So very friendly. Okay, so it's coming immediately. Maybe not quite this turn. But the fact that the Marathas are at war with, are at war with us now, that makes taking Lisbon incredibly tempting. Fortunately, the, we have to destroy that fleet before we can invade. Before we can invade Lisbon, if we can take the take out the fleet, then our army can run down here and attack Lisbon immediately. And we're not at war with Spain, so this would be quite safe. And it'd be very good for our fleets to base out of to interdict enemy shipping in the in the Eastern Atlantic. And obviously, we've got all of this stuff becomes viable they're all viable targets and we've got plenty of stuff to do it but the first move i think has to be destroying the fleet of sean brophy got a couple of got some really good ships hannibal northumberland acheron this their third rate advice is na is damaged the second rate snackered some heavy frigates that could be new be a nuisance i mean come on i gotta give it a go right <laughs> uh, my fleet's a lot better than theirs but their ships they have some very capable ships so yeah we should be okay i i won't get through this without losses some heavy firsts I was about to say my heavy first needs to go up front. Actually, my first is going to go up front with my Admiral's heavy first behind them. I mean, this is a this is a really good fleet. I mean, I'm I'm a lot I'm cagier than I should be because I'm not supremely confident in my naval skills. Yeah, I was kind of hoping they would go for the go for the fastest route. Advice is leading the charge. Hey, that means advice might. So Ash Acheron. I mean, I particularly want to take Acheron, just for master and commander. 
but advice is going to scoot on ahead and potentially cause them some trouble because they are going to be on their own ahead of our fl ahead of their fleet and we're going to be in position Acheron, Northumberland, Hannibal, Monarch, Polyphemus It's clearly the Acheron is going to be the one to watch out for. Don't bother trying to get too far ahead of advice. The main thing is to focus on being in a good firing position for Acheron. Well, it looks like we might that might be questionable itself. In third rate, speedy little chap. So we're taking some taking some hits from advice, leading the charge, but we are going to get a good few broadsides off against Acheron. And we've got our own first rate America up front. Yeah, watch, watch out, advice. I mean, their their sails are already quite badly damaged. Rolling broadside into advice. By the time you're reloaded, you want to be prime for a. Well, I mean, I suppose with first rates, you do just want to—you just need to kill them. You—you you just need to destroy them. You can dismasting them is fine, but they still put out loads of damage. Maybe Gallardo, because you'll have to make a start. Everyone's firing off shots at advice. My heaviest ships are gonna just. So what I normally do is I take my back row, make give them an extra order to kind of act as a double layer. If we can knock any masts down. I mean that would be a huge boon, but particularly the main mast. of Northumberland. So you're gonna have to sail ahead so you don't get cut off. All these ships need set full sail. Just pump just pump regular shots into Acheron Acheron now. Same with these, you have to set up effectively just keep saying multiple defensive lines up. You'll just have to try and dismast Acheron. Heavy first. If you just just do damage, just shoot. You can't afford to be slow. Retiro, just just try to smash Acheron, Acheron completely. Slap 
lopsided killer. Uh, America's being uh, America's lo America is lost because they're they're routing because they're on fire. Gallardo is going to be incredibly upset. Oh, there we go. Oh, you were you were back. You were back. The rest of my fleet is just going to take him too long to get here. Gallardo is looking incredibly upset. Ah, America's on, on fire and surrendered. Routing on fire. And you're just you're taking out masses of ships behind. Okay, we're incredibly iffy shape with lots of these. We're going to now, the head, the head of our column is getting interrupted. Load your broadside. It looks like the Rosé is going to try and cut us off. You're going to sit here and engage Polyphemus from the front. You're going to have to just keep pounding Acheron. They've got a good brawl taken to us, but our, our guns just weren't ready. We're on fire. So it could be an interesting strategy there to simply blow up. Slow you down so San Juan can speed up. I, mean, I hope Retiro blows up. If it does blow up, it's in quite a good spot. Just keep firing, just keep firing, Chain, for the time being. Because the only advantage we'll start to have is that their heavy ships will just be unable to maneuver. Until that happens, we are at risk. Let's pivot our ships around, jump onto Polyphemus. You just drop anchor. You try and pivot. Ground shot and try and engage the adder. I mean, these guys getting the position have not gone. They, these guys have taken their sweet time as well. There goes Polyphemus. Your starboard battery is alright. You should hit the Rosé as well. Battery. You just stay where you are and just fire a round shot into Olive Venus. Pump a broadside into Monarch. Push on ahead. Guns are in good position, are in good health, but can you complete the 
pivot as required. So just blast it anyway. The ad is surrendered. You're going to keep punching shots into them. You can just stay here and keep firing at that first rate ship. Get ready to fire chain. Blast some shot into Monarch. So you're going to try and you're going to pump some shots into Monarch as well. Shot on top of the master. You're going to pump shots into Monarch. firing chain from your position. These ships orientate to keep engaging. Polyphemus. And you may pivot and start engaging Northumberland at long range. Both of you, both of these ships get over here. Get ready to engage Northumberland. The main Mr. Monarch is gone. Come about. There you go, getting some hits into Northumberland. You want to come about and try and hit Northumberland with the chain. You're going to try and make your way along like so. You're just going to have to pivot and keep shooting. With round shot, you need to keep hitting Monarch. Sadly, the Mary Rose is going to take a load of my shots. Hitting Glory and Polyphemus. There's Northumberland coming in. You have to keep firing chain out of La Mouille. Probably go like so. No, you have to stay where you are. Keep sailing. Keep the chain going. Sam Ramon's been hitting the Glory for a while. You're reloaded, you'll put some more shots into Polyphemus' last masts. Just, you know, just pump round shot into there. We can't mess around. Jose is routing. Okay, you need to switch the chain and push. Well, really, you want to get away from Santa Clara. You're, you're fine to keep shooting the first rate. All of you guys need to push towards Northumberland. 
even if you hit Mary Rose instead of Northumberland, this chain shot's still still worthwhile. You just keep blasting Polyphemus. You get six more guns destroyed. Try and get up there to protect, uh, protect our heavy first stern. Well, Bumbling's their last heavy hitter that's actually in in position. So let's take all of you guys. You need to just get over here. You want to keep shooting them. She so want to pivot and try and engage the Mary Rose frigate with a round shot. Still got Hannibal back here as a threat and Acheron, but they are both slow. And they have to manoeuvre their way into a firing position. Just keep, just keep pounding. Concerned, they consider themselves dismasted, even though. You're gonna just keep pounding, Mary Rose. You're the only one that can... Oh no, okay, you're too far away to do stuff. And here's the foremast. Polyphemus is potentially going down. May need some support. Send you away from Monarch. Looks like Hannibal's changing position. I mean, you need to just smash the Mary Rose, because right now that little ship is being very frustrating. You drop anchor and just keep hitting Mary Rose. All these ships can keep pounding Northumberland and that's okay. Find the ah, sinking. There we go, you have to push towards our next line, although you can still hit our ships and cause us problems. As long as, as, long as this, this ship can get rid of the Mary Rose, I'll be happy. There goes Northumberland's mainmast. Northumberland is utterly dismasted, so these ships can just fire 
round shot, round shot as much as they please. It's Northumberland who is on fire. I end up having just to sit off and engage the Acheron at range. As everyone else put shots into Northumberland. And you may you can still use chain. You're pivoting. 34 guns and your support broadside fire it will off. Thumberlands, you try pivot. Phantom Christo can gauge. Everybody pivot. We've got to deal with Hannibal. Thumberlands, okay. Everyone needs to heave who. going to save Northumberland, that's for sure. Come on, man. Heave your ship around, sir. We need to knock out some of these masts. Oh yeah, this, sh this ship's going to go down. Stand up to that sort of punishment forever. Rolling broadside. You're still hitting Acheron. Acheron's in the mix. Still here. If we can just dismaster, she is a lot less likely to cause us trouble. Four masters gone. Bashing with round shot. Main master's gone. Bashing with round shot. Keep pumping. You can keep engaging with round shot. Maybe you might hit Northumberland at range. Oh, go on, Mary Rose. Blow up and take Northumberland with you. If I have to lose a ship, well, I'll make it so. This one, you can keep firing round shot, but eventually you're going to need chain. 
No, stay where you are. See, Northumberland can orientate without masts. Might not be as if well, it isn't as efficient, for sure. deal with these heavy frigates. Hannibal surrendered. Exceptional news. You push on ahead, ready to engage Northumberland. You get involved in this action. You, may, you ships try to get over here. You want to get over here to help this ship. I mean, I always like chain shot with these lighter ships. If you can knock the masts off or knock a mast down, they're they're significantly less useful when they if they can't scoot around the battlefield. So you want to try and sprint across the gap to help. Take out Acheron, Chirol. You will be good to play a round shot at Northumberland. to get rid of that. Ooh, you're gonna actually no, you're gonna you guys have to fire a round shot. Ooh. Put your fire out. Oh, she has a good idea. Well is it? I don't know what the boarding boarding rates are like. I'm not sure whether it's something that my ships will be good at or whether they'll be rubbish at. Theory. Not got a huge amount of guns, but I've got a lot of crew, but my morale isn't as good. Okay, this one ship can just sit here and engage Northumberland. Frigate. Same with you, you just pump shots into the heavy frigate. Give this ship an order to uh, embark on the heavy embark to uh by board the heavy frigate. job is only to get within range, try and knock out some more of Acheron's masts. Okay, you... You can sail on and engage Northumberland. Accurate. 
pursue the heavy frigate. Have you got chase guns? You do? Forty-one guns, or thirty-seven guns ready to fire on the starboard battery. Just get across the gap. Come on, San Juan, pump some shots into Northumberland. Let them know what it means to be adrift. close the distance. Come on, Santa Cristo, you're nearly in position. Three ships pumping shots into Northumberland. Two ships attempting to chase down this heavy frigate. She bears. We should just be within range. Fine. I, mean, I could fire a round shot with him, but I don't want to. I really want him to fire a chain shot broadside. You'd actually no, you stay where you are. Keep engaging Northumberland. You scooch up a little bit more. Shot. So when they board, they'll just smash the ship with broads with a round shot. So we're finally we're catching up with this heavy frigate. 130 crew spent 253 graves. Excellent, Northumberland is down. Okay, now they're within. Now they're within uh, chain shot range. The grappling hooks away. We're eager. They're shaken from being boarded. Get our second rate to heave over. They're wavering. I think we're going to take the ship. Surrendered. So these ships are going to be out of action effectively. Shot away the foremast. Got rid of our rear mast. Mizzen. I think it's the Mizzen. There we go, the Acheron has been dismasted. Go. Fire. Oh, you had fire well off, didn't you? To put your fire out. Surrendered. Huzzah! So a number of our ships that were captured will not have will not have been uh, secured by the enemy, and we will have gained number uh, quite a significant number of enemy ships. So we didn't actually lose any ships. So select them all at first and say we want the third, we don't want the Rosé, we want the first, the heavy, the heavy, second, don't want that, don't want that, don't want that. Four capital ships added to our strength. And then you guys can scoot on down towards Lisbon. Lisbon is held by a strong garrison. 
But we... Actually, we might just siege them. Although they, they're going to come back and try and defend them. Hmm. It's probably smarter that we attack them. At least we have Carcass Shot. Yeah, we might have to just attack them. And then use... Or use Carcass Shot mercilessly. Use Carcass Shot mercilessly and... Uh, eviscerate their fleet. Not their fleet, their garrison. So our fleet is in good shape. These guys. Let's get them repaired here, then ship back home to England. Yeah, you're a bit of a concern, because I'm not quite sure what you're going to be up to. Yeah, you're, you, you could get jumped on, but I don't want to use my trade fleet for that. Oh no, we're at war with pressure as well. That's dicey. No enemies in the, near Brazil. Ah, yes, enemies over here. One fourth rate ship of the line, Link. So that's where I want to call in fleets like these when they're ready. One more turn, you'll be ready. Okay, before I start organising the rest of the armies, I think I am just going to have to go after Lisbon myself. I was kind of counting on the autumn, on the, uh, the Portuguese being quite good at the defence, but apparently not. But looking at the timer, I believe it's definitely time to turn the episodes I've overran significantly. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the destruction of a Maratha garrison. Cheers, everyone.